Henry Pieper and Fannin Porsche developed hybrid electric vehicles. Today, efforts are being made, in particular, in order to lower CO2 emissions, which have increased over the past years. Moreover, because of the low energy density of lithium-ion batteries, purely electric vehicles are not yet an alternative to the traditional vehicles with combustion engines. Let's start by looking at the components that are used. As traditional vehicles, hybrid electric vehicles have a conventional combustion engine that is either a petrol or a diesel engine. Moreover, hybrid electric vehicles need a rechargeable battery which is used to store and provide energy. The rechargeable battery is usually a lithium-iron or a nickel-metal hybrid battery which is composed of different cells. An electric motor that drives the wheels using energy from a rechargeable battery is also required, as well as a generator which has a similar structure to the electric motor and transforms mechanical energy into electrical energy. Hybrid electric vehicles can be divided according to their powertrain configurations. Let's look at a very simple vehicle composed of front wheel and rear wheel axles a gear wheel and a combustion engine with a tank. As in a traditional vehicle with only one engine, the combustion engine drives the gear wheels and consequently the rear wheels of the vehicle. By adding an electric motor, which is connected to a rechargeable battery, a hybrid electric vehicle is created. It's a parallel hybrid if as it is the case here, both motors are mechanically connected to each other and drive the wheels at the same time. In a series hybrid, the combustion engine does not have a direct connection to the drive axle. Only the electric motor drives the wheels. The combustion engine, however, drives a generator thanks to a gear wheel. The generator produces electricity, which is then stored in the rechargeable battery and can be used by the electric motor. Such a system is also known as a range extender, because the range of the vehicle driven by the electric motor can be increased. Vehicles that use a series as well as a parallel drive system, depending on the situation, are called power split hybrids or series parallel hybrids. Generally, however, the classification as microhybrid, mild hybrid, or full hybrid is more relevant. Microhybrids don't have an electric motor. They only have the possibility of energy recovery through a regenerative brake and a start stop system, which turns the combustion engine on and off when required. The electric motor of the so called mild hybrids is only used to increase the performance. For instance, the combustion engine of a sports car can be smaller because it's assisted by an electric motor when accelerating. In the case of full hybrids, like for example the Toyota Prius, the electric motor can drive the vehicle on its own when needed. This way, the electric motor can be used in the city and the combustion engine on the highway at high velocity. Some electric hybrid vehicles are also plug-in hybrids. Its battery is not only rechargeable by the combustion engine, this vehicle can also be charged for example during the night by connecting it to a power source.